the gods. Amen. And he, uh, Abram began uh, to follow the true and living God. Uh, amen. Uh, and that's where uh, the Jewish nation sprang from. Uh, that is uh, where it came from. Uh, amen. Because there was a remnant, uh, a small person, a uh, small one person, amen, uh, uh, that believed God in everything that he said and he followed him wholeheartedly. And my friend, uh, uh, not only that, uh, uh, but uh, uh, we come down uh, uh, to Moses uh, and we see him in the land of Egypt. Uh, <coughs> we see him there. Amen. He wouldn't be called the, uh, the son of Pharaoh. Uh, but what did he do? He wouldn't serve Ra. He wouldn't serve a sun god. He would not serve uh, uh, the Pharaoh himself. Amen. Why? Because God called him. Amen. In a remnant after 400 years. But there was a reason that because of the armor rights. Amen. Amen. It hadn't built up. The iniquities of the armor rights hadn't built up. Amen. And God was going to send Moses down there. Amen. He was going to send the children of Israel. He was going to send Joshua down. Amen. They didn't plant one vineyard. They didn't plant one olive tree. Amen. Amen. He gave them houses they didn't build. He gave them vineyards they didn't plant. He was so good to them. Amen. That's what my God can do. Amen. But I ask you out there tonight, who are you serving? Amen. You say, well, I go to church and I serve God. Amen. I tell you what, not if, the Bible says not everyone that cries, Lord, Lord, will enter into his kingdom. I tell you tonight, amen, an atheist, he says that he doesn't believe in a God, but I tell you tonight, if you're an atheist out there listening and watching me tonight, amen, you have a God. You have a God. How do you know, preacher? Amen. If you ever opened a fortune cookie and read the fortune and saying, yes, look what this says. It says, amen, I'm going to have a good day. Amen. But what? They, they, maybe they thought Confucius said that. I don't know and wrote it down on a fortune cookie. They got up uh, on the one morning. They open the paper up uh, and they go to the uh, the astrology side. Uh, they look the birth date up uh, and they said, "Yes, this is what's going to happen to me." Uh, amen. Today it's going to be a good day. Uh, amen. You have a God, whether you believe it or not. Uh, amen. I tell you what, uh, the Bible says. Listen to this uh, in the book of Ezekiel, chapter fourteen, uh, and verse one. Uh, uh, he's going down here. Uh, the old prophet is. He's called of God. Then came something of the elders of Israel unto me and sat before me and the word of the Lord came unto me saying, Son of man these men have set up their idols in their heart and put the stumbling block of their iniquities before their face. Should I require of all at all by them? Should I listen to them? Amen. They have put idols in their heart. Honey there's a lot that has an idol in their heart. They have something in there. Amen. And only God can see it. Only God amen can see it. But my friend there's coming a time of separation. Why? Because God amen told the old prophet he said there speak unto them and say unto them thus saith the Lord God every man of the house of Israel that set up his idol in his heart and put a stumbling block of iniquity before his face and cometh to the prophet and I the Lord will answer him that cometh according to the multitude of his idols. Amen. He knowed every idol that was in the heart of those men. They came requiring, amen, a prophet to talk to them. They wanted a prophet, amen, to listen to them and what they had to say. The prayers were going unanswered and God said this, you've got an idol in your heart, amen. You sacrifice unto me. You go, amen, before the priest is with your sacrifices. And you think, amen, you're going to get an answer when you got an idol in your heart. The Bible tells me in the book of St. Mark, very familiar scripture, the Bible says, then Jesus... And 
There came a, a, a one running unto him, and he fell down. I, and he, he said unto him, Good master, I, what must I do to be so to inherit eternal life? I, and Jesus looked at him, I, and Jesus said, Why callest thou me good? I, amen. I, I, listen, I, uh, there is none good but God. I, amen. I, I, many a person, amen, comes close. I, I, many a person I, I comes close. I, if you look at this young man, I, you'd say, well, I, hey man, this guy's really seeking. I, this man's really looking. I, hey man, I, he's looking out for the future. I, he's a looking out I, uh, out there I, uh, the eternity because he's inquired I, about eternal life. I, there's many that require a hey man that comes I, uh, seeking. I, there's many that comes looking I, but their hearts are far from it. I, listen to what this man and said, uh, he said, Thou knowest the commandments. Do not commit adultery. Do not kill. Do not steal. Do not bear false witness. Uh, do, do not defraud. Honor thy father and thy mother. Uh, and he answered and said unto him, Master, all these things I have observed from my youth. Uh, then